Wow. How can you compete with that? How can you go head up? How can you kill it? You can't kill it, man. Wow. What's the motherfucker that can't deal, man? Show the vibes in this thing, y'all. You know I'm talking about. Listen, if you ain't subscribed to the channel by now, I'm going to need you to go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and tap that notification bell as well. That way, you are amongst those who are notified as soon as I release new content. Also, don't be shy. Drop me something in that comment section. That way, I can familiarize myself with you and recognize who you are as we are reacting to these videos or news like we have today. Now, um, I don't know if y'all seen this or heard about it, but, uh, man, they, got, they finally got the world's first living robots. They can now reproduce, scientists say. Now, it's a whole lot. It's a whole lot to be said about this, you know. It's a whole lot to be said about this, man. That we need to unpack. We need to unpack that, you know what I'm saying. But before we get off up into any of this news, I'm gonna need you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me some in the comment section, and while you're doing all of that. I'm going to light up my situation. Well, first, I'm going to light up this piece that I got. And then I'm going to light up my other situation. You know what I'm saying? In a little bit. So, go and get that like. Hit that like. Get them likes up. You know what I'm saying? Get that subscribe up. We almost at 2K. We almost at 2K. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's get off of in this news. Meet the Xenobot, the first living robot created from stem cells, all right? Less than a millimeter wide, it is small enough to travel inside human bodies. Wow. Hold on. If it's small enough to travel inside human bodies, what y'all... Y'all don't think they done already put that shit up in us already? Like, what the fuck? That's why they want to get everybody... I ain't going to say it because I don't want to catch no deans on my channel. But that's why they want to get everybody. I mean, maybe. I don't know. See, this is what causes panic in a lot of people. Because y'all sit here and y'all do, do shit like this. And then expect for people not to be smart enough to catch on to the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Even if that ain't that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just speaking that... You know, this is what y'all do, and y'all cause panic. Y'all cause a whole lot of panic out here for people. Anyway, let's get back to this news. <clears throat> All right. It can walk, swim, and survive for weeks without food. Mm. Scientists created xenobots by using stem cells from frog embryos. The living cells were scraped from the frog embryos and then left to incubate. Mm, mm, mm. They were then cut open and reshaped into specific body forms. Wow. This is deep. The cells then began to work on their own. When a Xenobot is sliced in two, it automatically repairs itself. Wow. It's kind of like the human cells. Scientists say Xenobots could be used to carry medicine inside human bodies. They could also be used to clean up radioactive waste. What did I just say? And collect microplastics in the oceans. You see... When you have a, a third eye, you don't even have to, you don't have to go to school for a lot of shit. You don't. Dr. Sabi is one of the world's greatest doctors who's ever walked this earth, but he did not go to any school and get certified. You see what I'm saying? Because who certified the first person to get certified? Somebody had to just study and learn what was going on in the field. So just because one does not have quote unquote certification does not mean that uh, he's not a professional to say the least. All right. 
Um, I'm no professional when it comes to this, but I, I have a third eye. And I said, I did not watch this. I, I have not watched this. I said exactly what I was thinking that was doing anyway. And this is what they are trying to do. You see what I'm saying? They are trying to have these artificial xenobots to carry medicine through people so they can quote unquote heal you. And, th and this could help ease the mind of some people of why they're doing this. You see what I'm saying? So they could slide in the real agenda. All right, so yeah, is that it? Yeah, man, so <clears throat> there's a book out there called Avoid the Machines. Yeah, Avoid the Machines. And basically, you know, the world... I remember sitting and watching I Robot when I was a little kid. The world is going towards that. The world is going towards auto, artificial intelligence. There was a shooting in uh, Fort Worth, Texas, I believe, but it was in, in the Dallas area. Micah Javier Johnson, Micah Xavier Johnson, um, he shot and killed police officers and he was only picking out white police officers this was at a, a time when i forget which murder had happened um philando castile i believe and frank gray i want to think i want to say i could be wrong but it were two murders by the hands of the police that killed two innocent that killed innocent black men and they happened back to back. Okay, now there was a protest going on in the Dallas, Texas area, and it may be Dallas. It may just be Dallas instead of Fort Worth or Arlington or whatever. But um it was a protest in Dallas, man. And Micah was out there shooting. He he ended up killing about ooh he ended up killing a good number of white police officers. And he said, this is what they say he said. We have no proof of that because he's not on uh, video saying this. But they said, if I'm not mistaken, they said that he wrote on a sheet of paper saying that he was only wanting to kill white police officers. Okay? Simply because of what had just happened at the hands of the police with the, you know, the, the murders. Okay? He was going off on them. He was killing them. He was killing them. You know what I'm saying? And he injured a few. How they killed him is they sent in a robot. All right. They this is what this is what they say. We have no proof of this. We did not see it. All right. I believe it. I, I believe it to be true, maybe, or it could be a part of the agenda to, you know, I don't know. But also. <clears throat> They sent in uh, a machine, and, and this is how they killed him, okay? Are you getting where I'm going with this? They sent in a machine to kill him. They now have police dogs. They have robotic police dogs, all right? Before I show y'all this, uh, the robotic police dogs, if y'all haven't already saw them... <clears throat> I'm going to show y'all this artificial human, and this is what they are going to be doing to amplify the racial injustice out here. You see what I'm saying? This is how they are going to, in the future, target black men, and high, they, they're going to be throwing the rock and high in their hand. You see what I'm saying? This is how they're going to be able to do this and say, oh, white supremacy didn't we can't you can't claim white supremacy because or 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 racist or racial injustice the robot did it okay now there was a there was a 
a story. I'm going to have to find that one as well, maybe. Uh, there was a story where a black man couldn't get tissue or some soap because the uh, soap dispensary wouldn't read his skin. It's all... The soap dispensary is artificial intelligence as well. So it was discriminating against him, so to speak. You see what I'm saying? These robots are going to be doing the same thing in the future. Look at this shit right here, man. Get them likes up. Hit that subscribe button, man. If you rocking with me and you and you already here this far and you rocking with me, man, hit that like button. Drop me some of that comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Is this all... Uh, hoopla, am, are we, uh, am I tripping, uh, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, tell me what you think, you know what I'm saying, don't, don't be shy about it, tell me what you think. Wow. How can you compete with that? How can you go head up? How can you kill that? You can't kill that motherfucker. If that thing tell, if that thing draw down on you, you can't shoot that thing and, and, and live. You gonna shoot it and it's still gonna be talking about some reaching for its thing while you firing, man. Oh, it ain't gonna even be. It's gonna be probably have a finger to point, or it ain't gonna have nothing to point. It's just gonna come out. It's just gonna come out from somewhere. It's just gonna. You just gonna be sitting there looking stupid, man. Anyway, yeah, man, it's crazy out here, man. Where are we going? It's crazy. It's gonna be 2022, man. Imagine what it's gonna be like in 2032. God, man. But avoid the machines, man. Y'all get that book. And y'all, y'all, y'all read about it, man. Uh yo, this shit is is deep. Let me see if I can find these robotic police dogs. They already using them. Check this shit out, it's man. It's been a rough year for the NYPD. Crime is reaching record levels in the city, mm -hmm. and today, the newest bot in blue was sent out to its first crime scene. That thing is creepy. Meet Digi, the newest member creepy. of the NYPD's Technical Assistance Response Unit. Yes, a robot dog that's hounding city streets, assisting its handlers in saving lives and protecting New York's finest. Hmm. It allows the NYPD to have eyes and ears and also talk to individuals in life-threatening situations. This allows them to use the least amount of force mm. necessary to resolve that situation. John Jay College professor Keith Taylor says I robots like DigiDog are changing the way. Whatever date we watching this video on today, you know what I'm saying? This video going to be out forever unless they do something different. Unless they take my video down. Unless YouTube just goes all out of everything and there's no such thing as YouTube anymore and everything is gone. This video, I'm sure, will be up forever. In 10 to 20 and 30 years, we're going to hear about how these police dogs have been a nuisance and the number of black men and women these things have brought havoc to. To police, and following a year of social unrest, Taylor predicts the 70-pound digi-dog decked out with lights and cameras will soon be utilized more often. It's definitely cool, though. I'm not going to sit here and cap a child. The shit dope. It's cool as hell. You know? Especially to have it as a weapon. That right there, that's, that's nice. <laughs> to have it as a weapon to do whatever you need it to do. I mean, it's, it's good. That's a good idea for the winners. For whoever wants to win. You see what I'm saying? But, uh... You know, you're going to sit here and use it for evil or you're going to use it for good. You know what I'm saying? Because just like a gun, a gun could be used for evil, a gun could be used for good. This allows be back to the, show. Uh, the police department to function with minimal risk to officers involved. And the tactical value of that is immeasurable. 
So Ditchy Dog took its first steps here in the Wakefield section of the Bronx today. The four-legged robot was reportedly responding to a home invasion, climbing the stairs of an apartment here on West 227th Street. The police would only tell us <laughs> it's an ongoing investigation, but it appears Ditchy Dog got the job done. And as the Robo Pooch made its way back to a waiting the patrol Robo car, Pooch, the NYPD huh? says it's soon expected to come out of its test phase and hopefully earn a permanent spot on the force. In the Wakefield section of the Bronx, Richard Giacobus. Yeah, man, this there right there, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this in the comment section, man. Hit that like button. Get that likes up. If y'all rocked all the way, man, to the end, I appreciate y'all. I'm Sheldon Vibes, man. Thank you for coming in. Until next time, we are out this thing. You dig me?